Hi guys, so I'm starting a video blog on what happens behind the scenes before you even walk into a fitness classroom or a fitness class with someone like me. Um, so I've been teaching for a very long time. I, most people that know me know that I've been teaching for about 17 years. So I feel pretty comfortable walking into a room and kind of going off the fly, although certain classes obviously require a lot more planning and time. Um, coming from a dance background, I'm very musically driven. So depending on the music and the playlist that I have, that also kind of denotes what happens in my room, but also kind of designing playlists that will appeal to the kind of clientele that you have. So, meaning you wanna have music that applies or can appeal to everyone, every kind of style, every kind of genre. Um, and you can always find remixes, of course, now, especially these days on things like Spotify. But in terms of like planning out the class structure, so coming from a dance background and coming from um, moving into the fitness background, what I wanted to do with this class in particular that I teach at Salas was take all the injuries that I've had over time and kind of put most of the rehabilitative moves that I've done and done to rehab my body, so for my back injury, for my knee injury, into one class. So it starts pretty simple. Um, with everything that I've, I've learned and I've trained, I've put all of my favorite things together. So I use kettlebells and I use lightweight and I use resistance bands. So you're getting resistance training, you're getting body weight training, you're getting functional movement training, you're getting injury prevention, everything kind of crammed into 45 minutes. Now I've been teaching this class since December. It is December of 2016. It is now August, end of August of 2017. So I'm going to start taking a little bit of a different approach um, to the class because basically people want to have fun. You're not going to necessarily have athletes that walk into your class every time. You might be lucky if you have one or you have one that has some sort of former history in athletics, but the reality is your class has to be able to appeal. What you're teaching has to be able to be doable so that they feel successful in your class no matter what fitness level they are. So, I start very simple with body weight stuff, and I will shoot maybe a couple snippets of what I teach tonight. Um, but besides that, that's kind of the thought process behind the class in general. And um, I do a lot by the fly, I fly by the seat of my pants, only because I'm an expert improviser in terms of movement. So I feel very comfortable reading my room and, and creating movement based on that. I also, with this class, am very comfortable because I do everything with them. So I'm not gonna teach or train or do something that I don't have the necessary experience in. So that's the other cool element. So this is a tip, a three minute tip for you guys on how to get started in terms of what the heck to do when you're starting to plan a class or your own sort of style, if you wanna stylize your own fitness class. Check out more video blogs coming at you, and I'll even post some more tidbits from time to time. So stay tuned, y'all. Ciao.